Alright, hi guys, and welcome to episode number 7 of my Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase video game walkthrough. And today we're going to be in Egypt with Scooby Doo. Okay, Scooby, it looks like you're inside an Egyptian pyramid. Keep an eye out for the phantom virus. I'm picking up some pretty strong signals in there. Okay, Wilma. I used to think that it was uh, Shaggy who played us in Egypt, but I guess not. Watch out for those flames, Scooby, or you'll get broiled. Ouch! Hot! Okay, that's gonna work. Oh, we've only got one bar left, that's not good. I don't know what it is about Egypt, but apparently game people like putting it in their games. Oh dear. Because you have the uh, Egypt level on like one of the Crush Bandicoot things. Etc. So I think we don't get to play as Shaggy again. So I'm guessing we are going to be Scooby for the final amusement park level. And that's the last one, and the next one after this one, so I'm guessing that's it from Shaggy. Apparently the gap between them two is way bigger than it looks. This might have to be like a double to get through Egypt because I'm having an awkward time with it. So this one I might do a double jump when we get to the bit where I keep falling down. nearly overshot it as well. And there we go. The music for this level is quite good. God damn it. I'll just leave it. Oh dear. 
No. I got too excited and stuck an extra jump in there and then I wasn't concentrating. Now he did it again. Hey. This one's a toughie. Nice. Wow, this puzzle looks sort of complicated. Just jump on the squares when they're green and jump off of them before they disappear. You can do it, Scooby. Roll problem, Raphne. All right, okay. God damn it. Yikes. Simple enough. And they do kind of look like the cat creatures from the film, although they're more... I think the one in that had like a red or like a green face. Or head! No, we were right there as well! Ah, uh, well. Right, so just ignore all that other stuff and just run straight through it. Was close, Scoob. Too close, if you ask me. Like, grab those snacks and get out of there. Scooby Dooby Doo. So I think we only lost like one, or, like two lives from when it started. One and quick. There you go. That was one of the worst that I've done. But anyway, let's crack on for part two. It, it's just the awkward stuff. We have to like jump onto like moving platforms and pillars and stuff. Sorry, Scooby, you're not done yet. You have to find that phantom virus, but you're getting closer. Well, all right. Oh dear. Ah, oh, there you go, here's your mummies. Which look pretty good. Oh, my God. Almost done, Scoob! Just a little bit further, then you and me have a date with a box of Scooby Snacks! I'm hungry! Let's go! Alright then. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So if I let it come over first and then... It wasn't worth risking a life to get a life. Where's the... I couldn't see the uh, aiming thing. And that bit used to kill me as a kid as well. Ah, just ignore it. Whoa, that was too close. <sighs> I point I pointed the aimer left and then he turned right for some reason. Oh my god, we're down to fifteen. We've lost ten since the start. First Egypt level. You're getting to be such a natural, Scooby. Grab the box of Scooby Snacks and let's go. Scooby Dooby Doo! Well, that could have gone a million times better. Robot. 
So as long as I can do well on the boss, then I should have a decent amount left for the final run.